it's not enough for them. It's my choice. I'm not getting the vaccine. That's not enough for them. They have to scream it from the rooftops. They have to stand on Patrick's trees and say, vaccines this, vaccines that. You know, at the end of the day, you cannot discriminate against somebody over a vaccine. This is not mandatory, not yet anyway. It is their right. Yeah, no... It is, Neil. And my argument it is, it is it is their right. Nobody's talking about forcing people to get vaccinated. I don't think you'd be able to do that. But if it's their right to not get vaccinated, it's my right to say, right, I don't want you in my workplace. I don't want you in my pub. I don't want you in, in my daughter's school. I don't want you any, anywhere around me. Because unless you have a sound medical reason to not take the vaccine, and that's highly unlikely, then sure, you want to do that. It's your choice. Go ahead. But do not expect. But they. But a, a the proportion of, of them are. The rest a, of us locked down. But, the rest of us locked down for months and months and months. Fifty thousand cases in the UK yesterday. Fifty thousand new cases. Is this what we're going to go to? But for the we rest? were told that the magic year? pill. Just in defence of those who really are scared of the vaccine. They are literally yeah. scared, and and I've dealt with people on the air who've been doubly vaccinated and are very very sick. You know, blood clots on the lung, problems. Again, Neil, again, again, Neil I'm not a scientist, so I can't. I can't. No, but I'm that. saying they're and genuinely, they're genuinely good that. people who are afraid. They're not 5G, uh, you, know, um, you know, screaming and roaring at nurses. They're just generally, they're just genuinely afraid. Again, Neil, maybe I was unclear when I said to you, I'm not saying that 370,000 people are lunatics or anything like that. But what I am saying is, and again, it's the people that I do not wish to hear from or talk about again ever in my life, are the people who are spreading misinformation, who are targeting health workers, targeting doctors for abuse, who are trying to prevent people. You see, the thing is, it's not enough for them. It's my choice. I'm not getting the vaccine. That's not enough for them. They have to scream it from the rooftops. They have to stand on Patrick Street and say, vaccines this, vaccines that. In fact, we should be issued with uh, the likes of pepper spray or something to that effect. That if we are being attacked, we can defend ourselves, like, you know? Can you not just, can you not buy that, no? Well, technically, we cannot arm ourselves in the car. Yeah, I know what you mean. Who, yeah, you whoever, you're, whoever you use it against them will sue you or something. God only exactly. knows. Exactly. It actually happened with Tap out in the south side there one thing there. He was attacked in his taxi and he defended himself. And it ended out that poor taxi driver actually lost his license to walk as a taxi driver. Isn't he couldn't that walk bizarre? as a taxi driver anymore. He, he was actually prosecuted. He was prosecuted for assault, defending himself. Even though, exactly, yes. It's hard to believe that, actually. Hard to believe. Somebody's you trying know? to rob him, he defends himself, and he's the one that gets prosecuted. Exactly, he's the one that gets prosecuted and loses his job at the same time. Good God almighty, what's going on, like? Where's the law? Where's exactly, justice? that's what I was saying there. Like, we, we should be issued with, with pepper spray, and if the taxi driver do use the, the pepper spray... And to replenish it, you'd have to go to Anglesey Street or any Yarda station right. and fill out a report from saying the reason why we used the pepper spray. Neil, I said, my doll a bit in there, mouth of me. Stop. Stop. I'm pain in my rib. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> you don't sound as if you're talking to me without teeth in, though, Keith. I know what you need, and I'm used to it all the time. I'm going to talk to you when we've been talking to me like that. You can feel it for me? No, I can talk to you, know me for talking, you know what I mean? Like, well, I've been practicing since I was my neighbour is out now, Kathleen, and she's going to get I'm going to try her ones on. Do you want me to do you wanna try them while you're talking to me there? Wait a moment, no. Kathleen. Kathleen. See if we can see Have if you got five seat there on ya? <laughs> Give us your five seat there the stick deal. I'm in it, You me. better wa you better wash them first. I know, she's trying. Kathleen is botches. You can't, you can't, just, you can't <laughs> put them in unless you wash them first. Run them under a bit of fairy liquid or something. All done, all done, it's back. All done, it's back. I'm just trying to get them in. You know. You're made of mighty stuff. Imagine having that, like, as a ringtone. Imagine having that. All right, I get it, I get it, I get it. Tomorrow, among other things, we'll be looking for Cork's funniest ringtones or indeed best voicemail messages. 
We should have some prizes for the best one. So we want you to WhatsApp us a recording of your own voicemail, your own message, or your hilarious ringtone. You can WhatsApp the recording to 086 8104 because people...